there's a video going around on Facebook right now, and it's stirring up a lot of moms and a lot of daycare workers. Hey, howdy, hey, Trainwreck, how are you today? I am the Glorious Trainwreck Mom. This is your first time here. Welcome aboard, Trainwreck. Glad to have you here. This is a safe space for all train wrecks, except here we don't give you a puppy and a latte, we give you sarcasm and humor. So recently I've seen this video, and if you're on Facebook, you've probably seen it too, where a woman talks about how very expensive daycare has become, to the point where it's almost more, if not more, than a college education. I know a lot of people, have, and I've heard this for years, because I've worked childcare for 20 years now. And I've heard people across the board talk about how daycare costs more than their mortgage, costs more than their rent. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Okay, seriously. Now, I have worked, like I said, as a babysitter. I have worked in a city-run daycare, basically government-run. I've worked in home. I have worked in a franchise that did not start as a franchise. It started off as a privately run and then went into a franchise worked at it two privately runs and worked at at a corporate daycare so i've got a pretty good expansive knowledge of the industry and the business okay i will say off the bat the city run and the in-home daycare were the two best price wise that i i worked at the city run was honestly not in it for the money because they had government money. They were fine. They were happy. Um, I know that for summer camp for three kids, they were school age kids. It was like two fifty to three hundred dollars, I think, a week. Which you're probably sitting there going, "Holy wow!" But like I said, it's three kids and it's summer camp that included all the meals, breakfast, lunch, snack, that included transportation to the pool, that included um, two field trips a week. So yeah, and so I, I still feel like that was a reasonable thing for that age. The in-home that I worked at was $80 a week for anyone who was potty trained and $100 for anyone in diapers. That was also breakfast, lunch, snack all the field trips, all of, you know, all the activities and everything like that. So that was a really good price. And both of them really seemed like they were not in it for the money. They were in it for the kids. That being said, let's flip this script and go on. The private runs that I worked at, the first one that I worked at literally charged what the state will pay. I don't know if you're familiar with how pay, payment works. Sometimes you can opt in as a provider to have federally funded assistance. You know, it's what we call state pay, okay? Um, they pay a certain amount and a lot of it is on sliding scale, okay? The people at this first uh, privately owned charged $12 a day because that is the full amount that that is the top amount at that time that the state would pay they charged 12 dollars a day they were open 18 hours a day they provided breakfast lunch snack and dinner for a lot of these kids some of these kids woke up with us and went to bed with us and they were charging 12 dollars a day that's 60 dollars a week okay and i'm going to tell you right now you get what you pay for. This place was a devastating place. It was terrible. Minimum wage, at that time it was six bucks an hour. And even though everything was, <laughs> this was not the top daycare, okay? This is not exactly a place you would want to send your kids. And yet, they wanted a bachelor's degree for going in, like I said at the time, six bucks an hour. For real? The second privately owned one that I worked at, the owner straight up said she had no problem with this philosophy. She did not give discounts out to her employees because she didn't think it was fair. And the only reason she started a daycare to start with was because she had five kids and wanted free daycare. Say what? And she figured this was a great way to make some money and not have to spend any money. This is the problem here. 
It's people like that. That's the problem here. Okay. This is another, you know, once an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree or five to 10 years experience for entry level or for minimum wage. Holy Jesus. There's, you, are you getting the problem here? This isn't for the daycare workers, okay? The franchise side of things, like I said, it was a franchise that started off as a private run and moved into a franchise. I had issues. I had an issue. Would not, you know, again, no discount. So for me to have my own kid there was honestly this weird battle of Am I spending more than I'm making? And sometimes if I was sick or if my daughter was sick, yeah, I wound up having to pay for that whole week of her being there. And sometimes that was more than I made. And that just didn't make any sense to me. And I was told it was unfair to give the employees a discount because not all the employees had kids. And the analogy I tried to make was Okay, but you still offer vision in the healthcare. Not everyone wears glasses or contacts, but you still offer it. And I was told I was comparing apples to oranges, but that kind of made sense to me. You know, not everyone needs glasses. Not everyone needs childcare. Why offer one but not the other? I was also given a sob story about growing up poor and living in a trailer and all that. And I dig that. I, I love people who pull themselves up by their bootstrings and, you know, get out there and, and do the, do the things, you know, do all the things, make yourself better. That's awesome. I'm proud of you. That's great. But don't give me a sob story that you aren't able to pay your bills and that you're struggling. And then you pull in the next day with your husband with matching Mercedes SUVs little bit of a cognitive dissonance and yet again this is another place you know wanting a bachelor's degree and uh, now you know we're talking this is at least 10 years later now now you know wanting a master's degree for minimum wage eh? and this is one of those places where you will be paying 200 plus a week for your kid to go there if if you're if you have an infant. I don't know their prices as of right now. I will admit that. But I do know it is it is around $200 a week for an infant to go there. And I will tell you any daycare that takes infants, that will be the most expensive. The price drops as they get older. But still 200 a week plus. Now this is Missouri. I don't know what it is in California. I don't know what it is in Florida. I don't know what it is in Michigan. Okay. I'm going based on, on Missouri. If you know, I would love for you guys to put in the comments below the prices of daycare in your area. Okay. And because I think this is the, this is a problem because now people have to literally sit and figure out, do I stay home? Do I go to work? And there's a problem with staying home, let me tell you, because I just filled out a snot ton of applications is I've stayed home with my son for four years before I went back to work at the daycare. And I have this four year gap that I have to explain. And it's like, I stayed home with my son because we couldn't afford to put him in daycare. The corporate daycare that I worked at, and I'm gonna be nice about this one because I still have friends who work there. Okay. And I'm going to say this is not this center in particular. I will say this is corporate. A lot of the problems that I had were corporate r rules for no reason whatsoever. I'm really the kind of person that's like, if you give me a rule, I need to know the reason behind it. I would really like to know why the rule changes or something like that. Okay. And yes, I did get a discount here. I got a 20% discount at the, at the place, which is honestly the only reason I was able to take my son, but we could only do part-time three to four days a week because it was less money that way. Because even at three days a week, four hours a day, it was still between 60 and $80 a week to take him. So if you're figuring that's $12, 
that's at least five dollars an hour that I paid for my son to be at daycare now that's one kid okay they can have I believe 90 if I remember right in that daycare eight of them can be infants so there you go there's there's some math for you to put together okay and I know there's overhead expenses there's food there's bills there's all of that I get that I am NOT blaming the manager by the way it's like the one thing I'm not gonna blame the manager for she doesn't do this this is corporate this is corporate setting prices and it's I believe if I remember right it's 220 a week for an infant to go to that daycare 220 it's 880 a month I had a $120,000 house and my mortgage was 790 a week a month two car garage three bedroom two bath huge backyard my mortgage was less than it would be to put an infant into daycare that's where there's a lot of problem and the other part of this again bachelor's degree for nine dollars an hour are you kidding if i got a bachelor's degree i'm not gonna work at a menial job nine dollars an hour doesn't pay student loans I know people are passionate trust me I love child care I'm passionate about child care I'm passionate about kids learning I love seeing when kids learn but I gotta think about my kids too and if I can't pay my bills on what I'm bringing in if I can't put food on the table with what I'm bringing in then I have to look at a different place to go the big yeah and I hear other I can hear you right now well just don't pick those 220s don't pick the 200 daycare you don't have to have the best daycare oh my god seriously why wouldn't you want the best for your kid why wouldn't you want the best for your kid it you're the same people who probably take your cars and get them p professionally cleaned and you take your dogs to go get professionally groomed why wouldn't you afford that same thing to your kids so yeah your kids are worth it I mean seriously you can't sit and complain about the price of child care and you know how it's too expensive and you have to cut corners and you have to cut the costs and oh my god you have to make sacrifices but you got a $500 coach bag sitting on the couch behind you really and yes that's in reference to the video I'm gonna link that video if I can if I can't I'll figure something out but I'm gonna link that video if I can in the description so you guys can watch that because it's a train wreck yeah you, know, you and I get where she's coming from but if you're really gonna scrimp and save then you really don't have a right to complain at people who can't afford a lunch bag let alone a coach bag okay the daycare workers are not the the evil entity I really don't know who the evil entity is it's the person who sets the prices you got a problem with that with the prices go to the people who set the prices so you oh, just don't go to those places for some people it's on the way to work or it's close to home or it's close to grandma so if there was an emergency you know grandma can go and pick up the kid earlier location is a huge factor that's why you see them on busy highway on busy roads near you know hospitals near restaurants near uh, you know the marketing districts because that's where people work and they need daycare so it's not just you know just don't pick those sometimes it's not an option and sometimes staying home is not an option either okay sometimes you gotta pull your big girl panties on and get your butt out the door because things happen I had to go back to work when my now ex was in a car accident and couldn't work for three months I'm working now because my husband's at school getting himself better getting himself awesome getting himself so that we can have a better life so that means I have to go out and do the heavy lifting right now he did the heavy lifting for a very long time it's my turn now okay it's not always you know well just don't work or just don't take them to these places sometimes that's not an option that's just where that's at 
I've worked in places you can tell you get what you pay for and sometimes you don't always get what you pay for so and I get that something needs to be done this is a conversation that needs to happen because either way there's no there really are no winners here for the mothers and for the daycare workers but understand it's not the daycare workers fault that you're having to pay sometimes a thousand dollars from what I've heard a month for child care that's not the workers fault that is something you as parents need to address you need to get on the phone with the managers with the directors with the regional directors with the with corporate get on the phone and do something because sitting on Facebook kvetching about things isn't getting it done you're getting the conversation going now do something put some verbs in your sentences and put some shoes on your feet and get something done and that's all I got for today train wreck like I said if this is your first time here welcome aboard train wreck glad to have you here go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I really want you to ring my bell ring my bell so you get to see all the train wreck goodness on a regular basis my books platitudes of gratitude and all your fault are available in ebook and paperback on Amazon right now Mr. Christmas is coming May 1st so be on the lookout for that you can check out all the train wreck merch because Mother's Day is coming. So check all that out at cafepress.com slash the glorious train wreck mom. And you can catch me on social media. I'm on Facebook and Instagram as glorious train wreck mom, Twitter at witchy, two E's, 1014. And you can catch my blog at the glorious train wreck mom dot wordpress.com. That's all I got for today, train wreck. So all aboard. Boop, boop.